Hi, thank you for coming back. In this section, we're going to go through the process of validating your factory design utilities installation. We're going to start with how to validate Inventor Professional. You'll start this by launching Inventor Professional. And once it finishes loading, you should hopefully see a couple of different things here. So I have a layout browser that is one indicator that the factory design utility is installed successfully. So if you see that, that's a good sign. I'm gonna go ahead and close that in case others do not see that. If you don't see a layout browser, uh, you can check to see if you have a factory tab. If you have a factory tab, then the utility is installed successfully. And within that factory tab, there's a number of options, and we'll touch on some of these a bit further later. But there's a layout browser, there's asset creation, there's some factory options, and so on. We're going to switch over now to validating AutoCAD architecture. So I'm going to go ahead and launch AutoCAD architecture. Give that a minute or two to load. Once that loads successfully, there's a couple of things we can look for here just to validate the installation was successful. So under uh, the screen that you will see in front of you, there is a layout browser. Layout browser would definitely be an indicator that you loaded the utility successfully, however, I'm going to also take a look at the factory utilities tab. To do so, I'm going to open this small demo cell, or you could just start from a blank drawing. When I go to open this, I had previously had a closeout that did not go through successfully. So being warned that this file is read only. Quick fix here for that is to just go in and change it from read only. Um, and in a vaulted environment, you want to be exercising extreme caution with doing that because vault manages the read-only status. So let me just take a look here. And yeah, it is set to read-only. I'm going to, for demonstration purposes only, disable that. And I'm going to hit no. I'm going to try opening it again, and it'll open successfully. Again, if you're using a vaulted environment, which I am, uh, you would normally not want to do that. Um, I'm not going to make any changes to this file, and I just wanted to get past the error. So once the demo cell itself is loaded, I can switch over to my factory tab. And you have a number of factory-related options here. Um, primarily, uh, you're going to be dealing with the asset browser, which you will see over on the right side of my screen, and you'll be using it to place assets within the AutoCAD architecture application. And once you've validated this successfully, um, we'll go ahead and continue on to the last validation step that we have, which is going to be validating Vault Professional. 